Hello and welcome to this GP to BC Fundamentals video. In this video I'm going to cover how Business Central defaults the VAT onto transactions using the VAT posting setup. I'll explain this how this is configured and set up and then at the end of the video I'll go through how all this comes together when raising a transaction. So firstly as this is a GP to BC video I thought it was nice to quickly run through how GP defaults the VAT. So in GP the VAT is defined on it's called tax details and tax schedules, which we then add to customers, vendors and items. Then based on a combination of some company setup and some module setup, those tax schedules are pulled onto transaction and the VAT is calculated. And then what we can do is we can actually edit and change that VAT on the transaction if we like prior to posting it. So now we've had a very quick look at how GP default the VAT. Let's have a look at how does Dynamics 365 Business Central default the VAT codes. So in much the same way Business Central defaults the GL codes, it uses posting groups to default the VAT as well. Uh, you set up these two different types of posting groups, there's business posting group and then there's product posting groups. And the business posting groups we're going to assign to things like our customers and our vendors. And the product posting groups we're going to assign to things like items and GL codes. So here we have the VAT Business Posting Groups page in the first screenshot. And this is where we're going to define our VAT Business Posting Groups. In this particular system, I've got three different types. I've got one called Domestic, one called EU, and one called Export. And then we can define and set those on the customers and vendors. So here I've got a customer 20,000 and I've set a VAT Business Posting Group of Domestic. At this point, we still haven't defined a VAT rate or a VAT GL code. So next we have the VAT product posting groups and they're added to things like our items and our GL codes. So here at the top left screenshot, this is where I've defined my VAT uh, product posting groups. Uh, I've got a series of those and then the screenshot underneath is the Athens desk item 1896-S and I've assigned a VAT product posting group of standard. And then the, finally the last screenshot, I've got a GL code of 10200, which is an income code. And I've defined a VAT product posting group of zero onto that particular GL code. Again, at no point in time at the moment have we defined a rate or the actual GL code that the VAT is going to hit. So finally, we're going to open the VAT posting setup window. And here we can see at the far left hand column we have the business posting group, and then the one next to that is the that product posting group and you can see that they're going to form a matrix on which the VAT percentage of code is selected. So in our example from earlier we had a customer with a VAT business posting group of domestic and the item had a VAT product posting group of standard and based on this matrix here we can see that that would result in a 20% VAT charge and the GL code being used of 56100. But the absolutely great thing about this configuration is if I was to sell that exact same item to a customer that was defined as say export, so not a UK customer, then that would mean the matrix would form a VAT percentage of zero because export and standard here are defined as zero. So I, I can change the, how the VAT is going to be selected without actually touching the item. And so pulling all this together, if I had an invoice now for customer 20,000 and pick up the item, the Athens desk, we can see how Business Central has picked up the VAT business posting group from the customer 20,000 and the VAT product posting group of standard from the item calculating the correct VAT. Likewise, on the GL code 10200, again, the VAT business posting group of domestic is pulled through from the customer. And this time, the VAT product posting group of zero is selected from the GL code. Based on the VAT posting setup, uh, the correct VAT is now being calculated. And if we post that transaction, we can see that we're going to get two VAT entries, the screenshot, the first screenshot, and the content of those VAT entries is below. We've got two, we've got one for the item, which was at a 20% rate. And then we've got the second one, which was for the GL code, which had zero VAT. And that is what we'll pull through later onto our VAT statement. And that's it. Uh, more information can be found here in this blog post. This blog post also covers how general posting setup works. Uh, I also have uh, my own blog, thedynamicsexplorer.com, which has more information on things with business.
Business Central and Dynamics GP. And you can also follow me on the Dynamics Explorer on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching.